right now on Chronicle in High Definition. A letter from George Washington, spare parts from the NASA space program, a check signed by John Lennon, buy enough artifacts to fill a small museum without ever leaving home. For the best autographed collectibles, go to RR Auctions. It's a quick trip. You just have to go online where their monthly auctions are held. Bob Eaton is founder and president. I think it's a better venue than a sit-down auction because everybody can be included, whether you're in California, New York, Israel, Germany. The bidders are international and they don't have to actually be there physically to place their bids. For 30 years, Eaton and his staff have put out an impressive catalog every month and evolved from telephone to internet auctioning. My expertise would be to look at the items and appraise their value and to, to, and to look at them to decide are they authentic or not. So the expertise is, is it real and what's it worth? And every month there's one or two things that just take off and hit these incredible prices or you get these uh, one-of-a-kind things you just never see. You know, it's just non-stop and it's fun. Bobby Livingston is VP of Sales and Marketing for the Amherst, New Hampshire company. What's really unbelievable is thousands of items come in every month that we're opening boxes and pulling out the most incredible things, but another shipment comes the next day. And so it's, a, it's an amazing volume of assigned material we get to touch every day and go through, and then we have to scan it, we gotta write it, then we put it in the catalog, then we ship it all over the world, then we auction it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's amazing. Today's mail has brought a series of 19th century ship's documents, each signed by the President and Secretary of State. Signatures like Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, Andrew Jackson. In the same catalog have Lincoln, you could have Marilyn Monroe, you could have Babe Ruth, you could have Einstein. So we have a wide variety and our expertise, you know, it, it just isn't limited to, to, one, to one area. Or perhaps General George Patton, John Wilkes Booth, or Mark Twain. We saw the Abraham Lincoln uh, signed photo. Uh, it's thrilling stuff to be able to touch history every day. What is it that gets you excited? Today, for example, I opened up a box, and in the box was a Theodore Roosevelt picture, which he's not uncommon, but this one was hand-colored, and I had never seen a picture of Teddy Roosevelt in color. These are things I haven't seen. And I've been doing it for a long time, and it's still exciting to see things you have not seen before. It's quite an artifact from Apollo. Space enthusiast John Dugan has come by personally to inspect items in an upcoming auction of space memorabilia. From Apollo control panels to a spacesuit umbilical cord, items that were on the lunar surface, even the mission control headset used to speak with Neil Armstrong on the moon. This is a great uh, way to participate in uh, something if you do have some uh, disposable income and you can both appreciate it and look at it as an investment if you want to as well uh, and be a custodian of this these historical artifacts. Of particular interest is this lithograph of Neil Armstrong signed by the astronaut which adds extra value. I think the two people that are still living uh, that are known in the United States uh, uh, that are, are the most valuable are Neil Armstrong, who stopped signing in 1994, and, I, and Bob Dylan, who's probably the most iconic songwriter of the 20th century that's still alive. They're both worth between $500 to $1,000 if they just sign a piece of paper for you. Pieces of paper, photographs, artifacts made valuable by the stroke of a pen, and for the top bidder, a piece of history. I mean, one of the great things is when you get to read handwritten letters from Thomas Jefferson or Thomas Edison or Albert Einstein. These things, you know, brings their personalities to life and it's vast. Human existence is vast and we get examples, you know, since earliest handwriting, uh, we get examples. We've got stuff from the 15th century all the way up to today. So you can tell, you know, the uh, human experience, the industrialized human experience through our auction catalog every month. It's, it's fascinating. Authenticating signed material is an important part of the process. There are a fair amount of forged signatures out there, by some estimates 20 to 30 percent, so you really do need a trained eye to sort out the real from the fake.